Hi everyone, Shuck Head, Baltali's here, ladies and gentlemen, yours and mine and everyone else, Carolina Panthers lost a tough one, a very tough one, week one to start the 2019 regular season at home to the LA Rams by the score of 30 to 27. So ladies and gentlemen, let me take you and give you my take on what Panthers did right, what they did wrong. And let's look at the big picture afterward and what this game really means as I will look at my crystal ball moving forward. So, the Panthers, as far as bad things go today, Carolina Panthers made way, way too many mistakes, ladies and gentlemen, against a very good team, a team that made the Super Bowl last year, the LA Rams. You cannot make so many mistakes and expect to win the game. I'm talking about the fumble early on and the first drive by DJ Moore. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Moore, he has a chance to be an outstanding wide receiver in the NFL. With that said, he cannot keep fumbling the ball. There is a rule of thumb for NFL players, for running back, for quarterback, for tight end, for fullback, and especially for wide receiver. When you have the ball in your possession, you must have two ends on the ball at all time. Because you know that the defense will try to do two things. Number one, they will try to tackle you. Number two, they will go for the strip. DJ Moore did not have two ends on the ball when the ball got stripped by the Rams and they recovered. DJ Moore, in my opinion, also had another bad play, costly play, on the lateral throw by Cam Newton. And my beef with DJ Moore on that play is the fact that he didn't appear to dive on the ball and to try to make an effort to catch the ball. Instead, he assumes that the referee will just call it an incomplete pass. And the thing again about it in the NFL, ladies and gentlemen, you have to play until the whistle is blowing. You cannot assume that the referee will call it an incomplete pass in this particular situation. So you really have to make a valid effort and dive on the ball. Try to recover it. If they call it incomplete, fine. No arm, no done. But if you don't dive on the ball, then what happened is you lose possession of the ball, which the Panthers did. Few plays later, the Rams scored a touchdown. They went on top, ten to nothing. The Panthers went into the locker room, trailing thirteen to three. And I be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, the fell staff, the Panthers, had they not made so many mistakes with the turnovers. Unable to stop the Rams when they need to. The Carolina Panthers, heading to the halftime, should have easily, and I say should have easily, been leading 17 to nothing. And this take nothing away from the Rams because they capitalized on the Panthers' mistakes. The Panthers made just too many mistakes in the first half. Against a great team like the Rams, it's not going to be easy. These are not your New York Giants, your Miami Dolphins type of a team. Teams that you can make mistakes and yet overcome them. Against the Super Bowl contenders like the Rams, you make mistakes, you're going to pay for it. In the second half, the Panthers overall did a pretty good job of limiting their mistakes. Sure, Cam Newton had a very bad Interception. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, my friend? No quarterback, and I mean no quarterback out there, is going to be perfect. We've seen Tom Brady, who is a definitely first ballot Hall of Fame quarterback, whenever we retire. In the past, is throwing bad interception. And I don't see people on Twitter saying, oh, bench Tom Brady. Don't let him play again. 
I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's be real. Cam Newton is a human. He's a very good quarterback. And at time, unfortunately, he's going to make a bad throw. Like I said, Tom Brady in the past made bad throw. Ben Roethlisberger has made bad throws. Patrick Mahomes, I'm sure, is going to make a bad throw. Peyton Manning in his, in his career made bad throws. No quarterback is perfect. And overall, outside of that bad interception, I thought that Cam Newton played pretty well. And you know what? Sure, it would have been great for the Carolina Panthers to win the game. Don't get me wrong, my friend. I would have loved to be sitting here telling you, oh, the Panthers are 1-0, singing you sweet Caroline and telling you how great I feel, how hype up I feel. You know what? I'm really, really not that upset overall. And you know why? Because Cam Newton is only going to get better. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that was the first time that Cam Newton saw real action in very long time. Let's not forget, last year, week 16, week 17, against Atlanta at home, against the New Orleans Saints on the road, week 17, Cam Newton did not even get one snap in either of those games. As a quarterback, as a, any other player in the NFL, you're going to be rusty to begin with. Cam Newton was rusty, but he wasn't that bad today, considering overall a lot of his throws were on target. He made beautiful throws to Greg Olsen, to DJ Moore, to Curtis Samuel, to Christian McCaffrey, to JJ Wright. Jarius Wright, pardon me, Jarius, the price is always right. So Cam Newton made pretty good throws. Short route, deep route. Sure, he missed Cody Samuel and third down play, which would have probably been a touchdown for the Panthers, no question about it. If Newton connect with Samuel, Newton, pardon me, Samuel, at five yard separation away from the, the cornerback for the Rams, if Samuel catches that ball, it's a Panthers touchdown. No question about it. So that is frustrating me. The time management is really frustrating me. Panthers, once again, ladies and gentlemen, did not do a good of a job with time management. That cannot, and I repeat, cannot continue if you want to have a great season in the NFL. If you want to win the Super Bowl, which I fully believe the Carolina Panthers are capable of winning the Super Bowl. And I will tell you shortly why I believe that, despite losing the game today. But ladies and gentlemen, you have to do a much better job of time management. You cannot waste the time out on third and two after you were just called for delay of game. And sure, Ron Rivera might have been very upset with the official. Rightly so. But you know what? You can talk to the official. You can tell them how upset you were during a media timeout. During quarter break. You can talk to the official. It won't cost you a timeout. But to call a timeout to argue with the official is going to do you no good. Because at the end of the game, the Panthers lost a crucial timeout. Let me tell you something. I'm not mad at Ron Rivera for throwing the challenge flag when the Panthers challenge the play that the Rams caught the ball. The Rams wide receiver caught the ball. And then the official said, oh, we couldn't determine if his knee was down or not. Ladies and gentlemen, I've watched that play live on television. I can tell you one hundred and million percent, one hundred and million percent, that the Rams wide receiver knee wasn't down 
before Luke Kickley stripped the ball from the wide receiver. I've watched it live. I've watched it in every angle that was showing on the replay challenge. I didn't see even one slip of bit that showing that the Rams wide receiver knee was down before the ball got stripped. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials today screw and completely screw the Carolina Panthers on that play. No question, no if or but about it. The Carolina Panthers got screw, completely screw on that play. In the NFL, on the Carolina Panthers, major explanation and a huge apology. Was that result in a Panthers win? No. Of course, the NFL is not going to reverse the outcome. But this, ladies and gentlemen, does not give an excuse to the NFL. Because NFL, you absolutely screw the Carolina Panthers today. No question about it. You want to know another play that the NFL officials screw the Carolina Panthers? Let's go back to the end of the first half. Cam Newton connected with DJ Moore on a big time completion. Moore, if you watch the play live on television, DJ Moore clearly, and I mean clearly, stepped out of bound. The official, instead of blowing the clock dead at that particular time, they ran the clock. Which, ladies and gentlemen, I really, really, really have no idea whatsoever what the officials were thinking at that time. The only thing I can think of since they have the Southwest Airlines commercial about getting away, they were probably thinking about, oh, let's grab a quick dinner somewhere in Charlotte and then let's get away from Charlotte. That is the only thing that I can think of, ladies and gentlemen, because DJ Moore caught the ball and clearly stepped out of bound. The official, once again, made a terrible call. Luckily for the Panthers, they made a field goal. But who knows, maybe they get seven points instead of a field goal if the official doesn't blow that play dead and stop the clock instead of saying that DJ Moore stayed in town. So NFL official, can we please have the real replacement official back and not some fake replacement official because today ladies and gentlemen your effort was horrendous and you know what this is not me about being a Carolina Panthers diehard fan this is about you calling the game fairly rightly so and I can tell you this right now this was calls against the Carolina Pan pardon me if this were calls against the LA Rams. I would have stated, you know what? The NFL officials have to do a better job. They cannot decide the game one way or another. Today, both of these plays came back and bite the Carolina Panthers. But like I stated, the Panthers made too many mistakes. Too many mistakes to cover, to recover from. But you know what? When you look at the big picture, the Carolina Panthers Overall play pretty well if you remove the two turnovers, the three, the interception by Newton, the fumble by Moore, the lateral pass that DJ Moore did not catch, did not battle to dive after it. Panthers play pretty well. Christian McCaffrey finished the game running for well over 200 rushing yards, two touchdowns. Right receivers overall had a pretty good game. DJ Moore, Cody Samuel, Greg Olsen. J.J. Wright, Jarius, the price is J.J. Wright. He had a good game. Newton, Cam Newton was pretty good today, but the Panthers have to let Cam Newton be Cam Newton. What I mean is, let the kid, he's still a kid, let Cam Newton run with the ball. You cannot put the gloves over him and almost cover him like in a box. Let him be Cam Newton. He is great when he uses foot to keep the play alive. Today the Panthers did not do that. 
good of a job of allowing, allowing Cam to be Cam Newton. The defense, ladies and gentlemen, I thought that the defense played pretty well. Sure, they had a couple of plays that really, really they need to correct. But overall, they did a pretty good job. Brian Burns, the rookie, looked phenomenal today. He looked like a pro bowler. And if he can keep this up, he will probably be voted for the Pro Bowl. But you know what? The Panthers fan, I'd rather him not play in the Pro Bowl this year. I'd rather him play in Super Bowl 54. Shaq Thompson played pretty well. James Bradbury played well. Eric Reed, Luke Hickley, they played pretty well. Gerald McCoy, the front defense, front four with KKK1 short. Mario Superman Addison, they all played pretty well today. Panthers did a pretty good job of getting a lot of pressure on Rams quarterback Jared Goff. The Panthers offensive line did a great job creating all for Christian McCaffrey. Overall, they did a pretty good job of protecting Cam Newton except one play miscommunication. Newton got sacked in that play. Overall, they did a pretty good job. Special team, James Carter Jr. with a punt block. Brian Burns nearly got a punt block on the Rams' first punt of the game. He definitely got a finger on that ball. Ray Ray McLeod had a couple of pretty big punt return and a pretty good kickoff return. So overall, overall, despite being 0-1, when I look at the big crystal ball, I'm actually more optimistic about the Panthers overall season outlook than I was before. You know why? Despite making so many mistakes, they put up 27 points against one of the best defense in the NFL. They got a lot of pressure on Jared Goff. They did a decent job against Todd Gurley. That has to get better. They put up points on the board. We all were wondering in preseason, oh, how well will the offense play for the Panthers? Are they really that bad? The answer is no, they are not. Christian McCaffrey played great. Now, the Panthers have to put their mistakes behind them. Look forward for Thursday night at home against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I know that is week two, but that game, ladies and gentlemen, is a must win. It's a divisional game. It's a game that if you lose, your season can go down the hill rapidly. Now, if you win, yeah, you can make the playoff and have a great season. So, yeah, we are all in one. It's frustrating. But you know what? We always keep pounding. We always bounce back. I, myself, I fully anticipate that I will get a ticket to the game on Thursday night, cheer on my panthers, lose my voice, return home, have a video, letting you know that yours and mine and everyone else, Carolina Panthers are one and one. I believe in this team. I'm happy. I'm so happy that they kept fighting. Because you know what? When you make so many mistakes, you can say, listen, it's not our game. It's not our day. Let's forget about it. Let's focus on week two. Let's call it a day. They did not. They kept fighting. They kept pounding. They made mistakes. These mistakes are correctable. They escaped the game injury-free, which is so, so important in the NFL. Overall, do not write the Panthers off. I mean, sure, if you're on the national media, go ahead. Let us know that we are really bad. Let us know that we are overrated. Call Cam Newton garbage. Because you know what? All the negativity is only going to fire us better. It's only going to make us better. So we, rather be on the, the radar. Yeah, congratulations to the Rams. Have a safe flight home. I seriously hope that your safety, Eric Weddle, is going to be alright. I don't wish injury upon anyone. And I hope with all sincerity that it's going to be alright. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we are all in one, but our season is not over. We are going to make the playoffs. 
we are definitely a Super Bowl contender, ladies and gentlemen. No question about it. If we can make correct the mistakes that we made today, trust me when I say this. With this defense, missing Bruce Alvin, who's only going to make the defense better. With Cam Newton getting more time and becoming less rusty. With Christian McCaffrey, how dangerous he is. With DJ Moore, Cody Samuel, Jarius, the price is always right. With Greg Olsen, Ian Thomas, this Panthers team is scary. Scary good. If I'm an opponent of the Carolina Panthers, I really don't want to face them. I don't look at the record. I look at the mistakes they made and I say to myself, man, they made so many mistakes, yet they only lost by three points to the Rams. So keep pounding everyone and go Panthers. Let's go.